Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love, romance, relationship reading and it is for January to February 2021 for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Gemini and pull your overarching energy or message for the, the next month or two. Okay, so what do we have for Gemini please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, I've got two three cards okay <laughs> let's go with it gemini seven of swords five of cups seven of wands is your overarching energy or message okay so i'm going to pull three cards the first card is your challenge or issue in terms of love romance relationships the second card is advice from spirit third card is the outcome or future outcome should you take the advice and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you gemini so okay okay thank you so your challenge we have the ace of cups Ten of Wands is advice from spirit and the star, lovely. Oh, gorgeous energy, the star is your future outcome. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Gemini, thank you. Thank you. The devil. Nine of swords, which is actually Gemini energy. And the star energy is the knight of swords. You know, it's interesting because I've had, uh, I had similar card, well, maybe one similar card here, the knight of swords, with which is a Gemini energy with Aquarius and I've got Aquarius here so this reading could be the flip side it could be the flip side of um, dealing with an Aquarius oh my goodness Wheel of Fortune bottom of the deck wow well things are about to change that's for sure <laughs> because for some of you you have been in a process of trying to overcome the past the five of cups is a card of it can be a card of loss it can be a card of the difficulty in moving on from someone or something uh three cups you can see they're empty there's two cups full of uplifting opportunity in the present but this person doesn't see it they only focus on what's not there what's gone what's empty the past what they can't change and you can't change the past that's the whole message of this but now is the time to reconnect to the present and the future because there is some potential here the cups is is a, is a representation of emotional feelings happiness joy um and it feels like there's greater joy in the present here it feels very beautiful because it feels like whatever this loss was um we have the seven of swords which can be a card of deception sometimes this is a card of it's the thief you know ultimately it's a thief stealing swords so there's levels to this card um covertness things not being what they seem uh, deception lack of truth you know it's that kind of energy hidden agendas call it what you will and the seven of wands is a challenge to overcome it i mean it feels like there were emotions involved here and it felt challenging to overcome it and yet the message is that you are getting on top of it by persevering and the messages keep going with this card you will get over this situation so if you feel that you're not going to get over somebody you know gemini that the devil can be a card of oh yeah it is a card of the need to break free of some kind of attachment here and i'm feeling that energy because it's not healthy 
you know, the devil can be a kind of codependency. And there's definitely some kind of need that I'm getting very clearly with you. The need to break free of some kind of attachment. Yeah. Because for some of you, Spirit is saying the reason why you need to break free of this is because there's new love available to you. The Ace of Cups. And you know, like I said, it might well be worth looking at the Aquarius reading as well because it feels like this could be the flip side of that for some of you. Um, but the Ace of Cups is a card of um, new love. It's a card of being offered new love. But the message that this is controlling you at the moment and almost blocking this coming in. Now, Spirit wants to bring you this because you are the vessel and you're being also shown love and light by the universe. You can see the cup is overflowing and that is the divine energy that the Spirit is wanting to pour into your heart, pour into you now. This is emotional rebirth, self-love. It can also be new love coming your way. And those lotus flowers on the lake are talking about now is the time you're ready to open up to receive. And it feels like receive and it feels like new love for some of you. It can be a kind of self-love as well, Gemini, but it feels in this energy new love. But there's a need to break free of an old attachment here. And that's the challenge. But you are, by that perseverance, you are overcoming it. You are getting on higher ground than that which, which opposes you. And again, I'm getting this Saturnian energy here, still carrying the burdens of the past and not letting them go. Because somebody is still focusing on those three cups that are empty. And this is about stress, anxiety, upset, sleepless nights. And it's what happens when you give power. When you give power to the negative, it just spirals out of control in your mind. It distorts the reality and stops you getting perspective and seeing the way forward in a situation. This is Mars in Gemini, giving power to that which doesn't serve you anymore, giving power to something to do with the past, the past journey, the journey that is weighing you down and stopping your progress. And it's a 10, which is a completion. So, challenging energy and I feel the challenge in this but there is definitely this need now here there's definitely an energy of now is the time to break free of some old attachment which is not serving you because spirit wants to bring in something beautiful either self-love can be new love as well because this is new hope it could be with an Aquarius, like I said, because um, it's not limited to that, obviously. The star is a card of real hope. Um, that when you allow yourself to find direction, Gemini, because, you know, the Knight of Swords can be about progress, clarity, direction, having full clarity, you find the direction, you get clarity of your mind, you understand how you need to move forward towards new hope, new paths, new horizons. And the star is a card of blessings from the universe. This is a card of renewal of self, standing in your own truth. New growth as well with the star energy. It's a new world energy. So there's definitely an energy here. Now is the time to almost kind of like get your head around a situation the source is to do with the mind our perspective how we see something and how you might be holding on to these burdens of the past because there's definitely an energy of as soon as you get your head around something that's where this shift comes in now it might well also be that there is a conversation with somebody like i said there could be a conversation with an aquarius as well uh, not limited to that but for some of you, this could be some kind of conversation or information or news that's coming in that's bringing change, swift change your way. Could be with another person here um, because this is a card of there's new hope, there's new, new love, self-love or new love. Uh, but you're definitely able to make progress in the next month or two in matters of the heart. Because the Wheel of Fortune can be a card of the Wheel of Opportunity. Things are turning in your favour. This is about good luck, good fortune. Endings and beginnings. As you close one door, another one will open. Because the universe wants to bring you in this new beginning. But this is blocking it. This is a block card. This is a block card. 
So there's definitely a need to liberate. This is a liberation card. So is the Knight of Swords. Uh, liberate yourself from things that just don't seem healthy for you anymore because there's better things ahead. The Wheel of Fortune is good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. Um, it's a card of destiny, but also it, it's an expansive energy. It opens up opportunity. It was to bring in gifts to you, connections, opportunity, um, more beautiful things ahead. So it definitely feels in this situation, there is some powerful change available to you. But there is some kind of cord cutting, breaking free of those chains. You can see the chains of the lovers uh, that need to be broken here. But it definitely feels this energy of perseverance. You are doing it. I think by your own actions, you are managing to overcome that which doesn't serve you anymore. It's a powerful energy here, Gemini, but I really, really love this reading for you. Um, it feels like you have the opportunity to turn something around. You have the opportunity to bring change, real change, positive change to your circumstances. There is a reason of new hope. There's new hope here. Um, and it could be with a person. So let's pull one more card. Let's clarify this star. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. An exciting opportunity, something that sparks. Oh, wow, spark, chemistry. <laughs> I'm feeling that energy very much. The beginnings of new growth. What did I say? New growth, new growth. There is. Um, something that you want to take action towards feels for and another new beginning card so that is what you're being guided towards here uh very very nice energy someone is sparking your interest but there's definitely an energy of cutting cords cut it breaking free of those chains Yeah, we have squirrel, spiritual maintenance, be your own caretaker. Yeah. And you know, this is, this is an energy of you're giving something so much power that it's keeping you stuck in your own head. And there is a need to break free of that now because it's not healthy. And that's this. This is be your own caretaker. Refocus on you. Put that power and energy into you, into your path. And it definitely feels in this situation there is some nice change coming your way. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, a wonderful month or two for you. And I will see you next time. Thank you.